This is it. What a, what a great time we just had. Golly. God, yeah, man. It was just really fun to hear the pops that each of y'all got when you went out there. And then your crazy ass when you went on stage and he <laughs> threw the door open and screamed. <laughs> Zach threw me off because he was screaming. He was, So he was already screaming? He Well, he had screamed going out there. So right. I figured like, all right. Why not? Yeah, you matched like, his energy. Was yeah. I supposed to scream? I was hoping you would. <laughs> what the heck, dude? Oh. Now I feel like a fucking fool. Well, it was just like you <laughs> throwing the door open and all the light coming in, and then just hearing like a thousand <laughs> dead tongues screaming at once. <laughs> well, uh, he was expecting Kid Rock to be playing. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I, th- I think I was expecting my scream to match Bob with the Bob right. and the fucking sound guy. My n- oh, fuck, dude. God damn it. Tell me they what play. you think. Do you think the sound guy refused to play Kid Rock, or do you think he just didn't understand me saying Bob with the Bob? I mean, dude, they're synonymous. <laughs> when I think Kid Rock, I think Ba with a Ba. Uh, dude, <laughs> I thought the same they thing. They were taking a stance, man. I think so, too. I saw that pen wiggling, but no lead hitting that paper. Yeah, mm. you can spell Ba with a Ba any way you want to, and it'll still be the first result that pops up. You put Kid Rock B, it's not Bud Light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a hot show, man. Thank you guys for doing it. Thank you for having us. <laughs> yeah. That was really a fucking treat, man. Just one of those nights where the whole thing is good. It all paid off. And yeah. now I'm sitting in this chair, still sweaty from that show. How often do you wear pants? Uh, I wear pants when it's seasonally appropriate. Okay. But I literally got to Philadelphia today. Oh, dude, the lady who picked me up from the airport, the Uber driver, definitely had some opinions on the different types of people who lived in the different parts of the city. Oh. Oh, yeah. She give you the rundown? Oh, yeah. She yeah, we're extremely out. segregated here. Number 10. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. <laughs> they're swarthy, and sometimes you think they're Sicilian. <laughs> but either way, watch them around your wife. <laughs> Keep an eye on the Puerto Ricans. They might be Dominican. <laughs> yeah. God forbid they're from the Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. I uh, I had a um I had a Muslim uh, Uber driver on the way to the club, uh-huh. and he was telling me his because every time I get an Uber to Helium, they want to talk about comedy, uh, and he was like, oh, I have uh, I have this French comedian I I think is so funny, and uh, he was like, he's canceled in France. He made some jokes about Jews. Everyone got upset. Now he's canceled, and I was like, no way, yeah. dude. He was like, people try to make jokes about Muslims all the time. And nothing happens. I was like, well, there was that one time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was the prophet. <laughs> it also happened in France. Yeah. yeah. He said, that was the prophet. I was like, okay, my yeah. bad. My bad. My bad. Anyway, my bad. My name's Charlie Hebdo. What's yours? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Muslims, it's Ramadan right now still, right? Uh, maybe he was just, he was just cranky hungry. Because he didn't have any figs yet. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. <laughs> he didn't get his daily date. Yeah, he didn't get to eat, like, a gigantic metal shield full of, like, rice pilaf or whatever they make on Instagram. Yeah, dude. And, oh like, an entire God. lamb leg. Just a hubcap filled They only with eat giant meals, dude. I'm so fucking jealous. Well, they do it because they didn't eat all day, and then they eat it in the park, typically, and there's a whole family communal aspect coming over. It's a beautiful midnight culture. Do you just, ever test yourself that way? Like, see how long you can go during the course of the day without eating? Yeah. I used to fast. I used to do one meal a day, mm-hmm. and that was uh, yeah, motherfucker. I fucking slow. <laughs> yeah. right. I eat, I eat a lot. <laughs> yeah, I do. I, you do, but I bet you have one of these metabolisms that would make me want to fucking hug you and jump down the stairs. I do. Uh, I I'm constantly on my toes, bouncing. Oh, you jitter leg. What I've read is that that is the same as running for the same oh, amount wow. of time. Oh, where do you read that? Mad Magazine? <laughs> <laughs> it might have been in a, a five-second YouTube short that I barely scrolled past. Yeah. <laughs> Did you do that when you were fat, too? Uh, oh, yeah, pro- you were fat. Probably. God damn it. Yeah, but, dude, I can eat so much. I know you can. I- but when I'm fat, I'm eating probably triple what a normal man should eat. Mm. And right now, I'm probably at one and a half and just being saved by the grace of my autism. Yeah, just stimming your way to uh-huh. health. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You, this is all you got to do all day. You do this at work. I know a lot of our a lot of our listeners are, listeners are just wasting away in an office, just mad at their boss. If you could spike your heart rate, imagining murdering someone that you work for, mm-hmm. and just do this under your desk, I, I promise you, you can lose sixty pounds in like three months. Damn, dude, I never had an office job, but I don't think I would. Oh make boy, it. I don't think I would make it very long. What's the last job you had? I was an ice cream truck driver oh. in two thousand seven. That was the last like straight job I had. In Denver, Colorado, driving for the Greek mob in a doorless autumn uh, ice cream van, just ripping down the highway. Oh, 
And it was sick because I was like 19 and it was a cash job. So I would just pick up my friends and we would smoke weed out the side of the ice cream truck and like pick up beers and put them in the cooler because you're driving around with a cooler mm. and just post up at a park for like eight hours. I would make like 30 bucks a day. You That's know? heaven though. It was awesome. Yeah. It was a perfect job for a little deadbeat freak like myself. I could see you going either way as an ice cream truck driver. I could see you either as like jolly guy or uh, like fucking Rob Zombie. You know? Yeah, no, it wasn't. It was, <laughs> I can see you as Violator. Yeah, a, house with a thousand. <laughs> ice cream truck. Yeah, he's house with a thousand dude. cones. Yeah. <laughs> violator. Yeah. Dude, I got called Violator one time. <laughs> In the truck by a Latino father. <laughs> and there was no comeback. Yes, <laughs> it's dude. like, how do you know about Spawn? That's John Leguizamo. <laughs> yeah. He was stealing Valor. That was the fucking... No, he mm. clumped it, man. Yeah. He put on that fat suit. Yeah, and he wasn't from hell either. No, he was not. <laughs> what the heck, he was man? From the Bronx, <laughs> yeah. dude. Yeah. Violet, do you remember Spawn? Do you guys read Spawn? Uh, I watched no. the cartoon and I and I watched the movie. <laughs> there was a character called Billy Kincaid, child rapist. That was oh. like his title. That was on his business card. Scandinavian, <laughs> not yeah. actually a rapist. Yeah. <laughs> I think he, he's a wrestler too, isn't he? I think so. Yeah, ECW. <laughs> But it's funny to think about Billy Kincaid, child rapist. Like, is there a comma? <laughs> or is he a child who rapes? <laughs> you know what I mean? No, then they would say boy rapist. Yeah. Then he'd, yeah, well, see, it's still confusing. I don't know. I'd go the other way. I think William Kincaid, child rapist, would indicate the male doer, where Billy Kincaid would be like... <laughs> A little, a little bad There's boy. There's something jovial. <laughs> yeah. and childlike. Give me that pussy, bitch. <laughs> take what I want. <laughs> you heard what I said, and I'm not taking no for an answer, ma'am. <laughs> I hold the elevator door for you, and this is all I get. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seemed to like me when I was praying for dinner. <laughs> Look me in the eye again, you're going to taste this gun. <laughs> yeah, I remember that character. <laughs> <laughs> now, would you make a healthy cone, Sam, or would you just? There was no them? cone. It was all. It was all novelties. Oh. It was all frozen delights. Oh, that's yeah. so hood. It was awesome. It was just SpongeBob with eyeballs in the wrong place. Dude, the Spider Man. It was the Spider Man. Spider -Man. And oh. it, God forbid one Sonic of those gumballs fell off. Mm -hmm. Then you had to get a new one. Oh, you didn't yeah. have to, but I'd be like, let me get you another one. Crying I'd just crush that it. child, not even saying, just pointing this disfigured Picasso ice cream yeah. face at you. Jowls jiggling. Now, would you have to function like a ballpark beer man, where they would take count of the SpongeBob's at the end of the night, and if there's three missing. And you got to count for three of them. You got to do your own inventory, man. Oh no! So you could lie. You could cook the books real easy. Oh baby. Yeah. So like, well, in this case, you're probably trying to freeze them. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> it's intoxicating, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> <Like this. sighs> <laughs> I'm all slap happy after the show too. <laughs> it's like a weird. It's like we're in perfect podcast. Yeah. Oh, right yeah. <laughs> it's the come down from mushroom. <laughs> it's like the peak is over, but yeah. no, it's just the god man. <laughs> I wish I could go to bed. You ever think about corduroy? <laughs> <laughs> it's all seams, man. <laughs> Do you think there's ever a point of success that you could reach where you would buy yourself another ice cream truck to just... <laughs> what do you think that's my idea of success? Yeah. Yeah. Well, not only to go back to work again, but to be, just be like, yeah, I've made it and now I can do this. I can find like twisted to. metal LARP. Yeah, these are, these are my glory days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not like the guy who had like a fucking like a motocross bike when he was 16 and then he buys himself like a Harley when he yeah. you know gets a little bit of money. No. Those oh, were not buddy. good times. I'd come home with like $44 in quarters, put it in the Deep Rock water bottle and be like, all right, only fucking three more weeks and I can get that PS2. <laughs> it, was, it was hell, dude. <laughs> but luckily I had my boy Bonzo. I'd pick him up because he had nothing going on. We would just cruise around. And I remember, Is an ice cream guy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was a volunteer assistant ice cream <laughs> Yeah, he was apprentice ice cream monger. <laughs> yeah, man, Bonzo would ride around just sitting on the cooler. <laughs> and then we'd, oh, man, we'd go swimming. I would just leave the truck running and go hop in the oh public pool. <laughs> just like, go crazy, guys. Because <laughs> they had, like, the only thing that you couldn't do was turn the truck off. They could tell somehow that if the truck was turned off for X amount of time, so... I would just burn gas, just chilling in front of rec centers. It's like speed. If they hear the song stop, it, the fucking truck blows <laughs> Dude, up. Did you try to convince your boss that kids were getting out of ice cream? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's not yeah. so, like, you used to. Man, they're not into it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> they're all keto. These they need something kids. to do. Yeah. Yeah, these kids off Federal Avenue in in, in, uh, in Denver, Colorado, they refuse to have any vanilla. There's a child rapist scaring them all away. Yeah, exactly. Billy Kincaid's on the streets. <laughs> yeah. 
Those were those were heady times. What do you have in the way of fudgy wudgies, Mr. Wh- Talbot? Whatever you want, Kincaid. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep your fingers out of my body. <laughs> Quit fish hooking me. <sighs> Excuse me. The violator thing is going to crack me up tomorrow. Yeah. I remember getting hit with violator by that fucking Latino father and just being like, oh, no. That was my biggest fear. I never got quite as fat to, as as a violator guy. Yeah. I was always just afraid, like, someday I'm going to have to accept that I'm that fat. And it was my, like, the only thing that kept me out of it. Was just oh, that. dude. Yeah, just the acceptance of how big you're going to get. That and John just... Popper. John Popper got oh, me out of being no. a fat kid. Bro, I got hit with Popper a lot more than Violator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like on stage, people have been like, where's your harmonica? Oh, man. It sucks. Luckily, you carry one. <laughs> yeah, at all times. It's actually a mouth harm. <laughs> oh, this thing? Yeah. You know he had a heart attack jacking off? Oh, no. I remember that from the behind the music on VH1. What was he, what was he jacking off to? I don't know. He actually passed away and the hook brought him back. Yeah, exactly. It was probably hoagies. Let the man live. He's giving me the runaround right now. (laughs) In your face, you fucking pig. Damn, fighting fire with tepid fire. (laughs) (laughs) No, trying to keep up with Mike when he starts... When he starts, when he really taps into his area on the spectrum, when he hits like a like a gold vein there, yeah, it's like being dragged by a horse. Like trying to keep up with his fucking retarded puns is just like a loser, a losing game. No one's better at the puns. You got your fucking uh, thank you, buddy. Pun gun set to stone. Sam, so. I'm actually competing in a Whoa. pun competition in May. Oh wow, dreams come true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the stars have aligned, and I'm yeah. going to retard Super Bowl. What's your training montage look like? Uh, I might have to put together a video, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Just his wife throwing out words, and he's like, words, uh, uh, turds, uh, birds, one, two, third, uh, third base in your face. Just free associating on stage. <laughs> I, I'm wishing you nothing but the... I'd like to run the book on that. I'd like oh, to have man. the betting pool. Dude, there, there's some ringers out there, man. I've watched some videos on people, and I think uh, the guy that was probably the best, he rules the Idaho circuit. <laughs> <laughs> like, the Idaho pun slam, this guy was just like... <laughs> dude, he was just like... Just all over the place, like fucking Wayne Newton working the fucking room in Vegas. Now, what kind of pussy are these dudes getting at the Idaho pun slam? Yeah. Uh, it's what you think it is. Yeah. 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 It's pun enthusiasts. <laughs> <laughs> pun pussies the worst pussy. Punishers, yeah. dude. <laughs> hey, Idaho, you're the only boy Z <laughs> for me. You're Boom. catching up, brother. Yeah. You, you would, you would. Don't have a moss prison. cow, man. <laughs> right, 45 olive oils in the same room, just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's a bunch of severe bang women. Ugh. You know, people, chicks who were in like, uh, they were into horror pops and then they got pregnant and now they're into pop. Yeah. <laughs> Very skinny, sharp noses on these women. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Are you saying this because my OnlyFans lady? I couldn't be further from understanding what that meant. All right. So, <laughs> How defensive are you about this OnlyFans lady? Oh, Sam, what is that the woman that you just described, and then Tim piggybacking off that description, <laughs> just described a lady whose OnlyFans I su- subscribe to. Whoa. Nightmare Christie. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, please. <laughs> Danny, to the big screen. Listen, uh, she is, is quite the lady. So not only does she have. No, she's not. She's not Sam, quite the lady. You, brother, not only does she have a, a really active OnlyFans, but she's also quite the entrepreneur. She runs a <laughs> horror-themed cafe and also a horror-themed novelty store. Or what is she, just fucking a uh, haunted hot rod? K-R-I-S-T-Y, Danny. <laughs> yeah, how dare you, Danny? <laughs> Put some respect <laughs> on her name. <laughs> oh, boy. That's there yeah, she Nightmare is. Christie. And then if you just want to say your login so everyone... Oh, boy. Whoa. Got, yeah, so the bangs and... This the is what I'm imagining as a pun enthusiast. Whoa. That would be all right in my book. book That's right, her? She's is also that, a yeah. cum enthusiast? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nice. She's got a... Is really, that going to get bigger? It is right now, man. I'll tell you that much. It's been a long night for everyone. This <laughs> might be a very skinny lady uh, in your world. She looks frail. Yes, compared to the ladies that you've seen, yeah. Every now and again, I'll show Tim my OnlyFans ladies, and he'll react as though he just got bad news. Yeah, my, Mike's... I mean, first of all, Jesus Christ, Mike. But second <laughs> of all, the a lot of these ladies are... How would I describe them? They look like if... If, I don't know, a person kind of wanted to be a waterbed 
Well, this lady looks like she runs like a rental library for lizards. Like, <laughs> come on over. <laughs> Got one in, one out. We have a rule here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm all for uh, the, the female form and in all of its aspects. I also think it's very cool that you're so outward in your OnlyFans uh, enthusiasm because I've never engaged. I, I like it a lot. Yeah. There's, because there's some things, and I've tried to explain this to Tim before, but I don't think he'll ever take the bait. But I think there's some things that you get with OnlyFans that you don't typically get by going to like a Pornhub. Right. Yes. It's very boutique. It's like comedy. It is very now. boutique. You can That's find a great exactly what you're it. into. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've been in the position where once, cause I don't have an OnlyFans because, uh, I mean, not that I don't, don't support an OnlyFans just because I think it could be nebulous. I wouldn't want to lie to my wife about it. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't want to talk about that with my wife. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a whole thing. But there was a lady in Denver who had an OnlyFans and I hit up my buddy Alex and I was like, Hey buddy, I just Venmoed you 40 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sh share the wealth. <laughs> this is what it's for. Plausible deniability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, it paid off. I believe it. There is an there is a lady that um, every now and again you'll see something heartwarming. There's a lady who I enjoy. Um, what like a cesarean scale? <laughs> 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 Looks like a smiley face. <laughs> Brother, um, Alley Cat is her name, and uh, incredible smut. But then also, I scroll down far enough to a point where she's touring uh, the um, site of the Martin Luther King assassination. Oh, so it, it, you get. You're going there rock hard, and then you're thinking about your own mortality. Is yeah. she, like, Keep showing it. herself, like, solemnly looking down and, like, pondering on his legacy? Or? She wasn't in any of the Martin Luther King pictures. It was just, like, these sites, and then she's at the museum, and it's just, um... So she did a book report on Martin Luther King on OnlyFans? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did a scene with James Earl Ray. <laughs> My pussy about to get shot up like MLK's head. <laughs> in Memphis, I'm coming. <laughs> So that's what you get with OnlyFans. Yeah. It's, you never know what you're in for. And just like other, you know, porn uh, comment sections, like guys are just very nice. Guys are at their best in OnlyFans <laughs> comment sections. Do you think that's where they have their most manners? I do, yeah. Do, I, I've never seen an argument in an OnlyFans comment section. No. It's always guys either be, being very complimentary of the woman or being very cordial to one another. What, now, what do you think? Could you put yourself in a, a, a headspace for a second? All of like the content, the porn, most of the porn content that you see online, especially being shared on like forums and message boards and stuff like that, or like discords, it's all dudes saying to other dudes like, yo, dude, you got to see this. Yeah. It made me so horny. Mm -hmm. And then the other dudes are receiving going like, yes, dude, it made me horny too. I corroborate. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Confirmed, dude. We're all horny together. Yeah. Yeah. What well, is that integral to the male experience or should we it's be not. It's not. I don't like that. A guy did that to me one time because I was talking about a specific actress that I liked and he's like, "Brother, you got to check out this site." And it was just this th this porn message board porn porn message board that Why I didn't even want to get talking about it. I'm just getting he's the moderator. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's his site. But <laughs> he's th hosting it. There was just so much to consume, and it's like, dude, I'll never get to the end of, like, my site is XNXX. I'll never e even come close to scratching all that I can with that site. Okay. So the fact that I would need a message board to dig further into what I'm into is just beyond my comprehension. Like, I'm a pervert, but there's, it's like when you're, when you're, when you're going in jujitsu. It's like, yeah, I'm good, but then you go against somebody who's just like, I, I have no skill whatsoever. There's always somebody to humble you. I can't jack off like you. Man. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're a, you're a master. I'm new at this. Yeah, he's like the uh, the guy in uh, Kill Bill that teaches what's her name how to punch the board with her hand. You know, <laughs> that's his dick though. He's just like <laughs> the one inch punch. Yeah. I pulled off one of his balls. Yeah. Put it in his eye socket. No, I I well, okay. So even the dudes that are uploading and making that shit that you're watching mm -hmm. on XNXX, that's still dudes going like, yo, bro, I got you. It's time to get True. horny on yeah. me this time. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Is that, have you ever considered like that dude's place in like the neural net? No, I, I've never really dwelled upon like the kinship that I would feel with these guys. I'm sure somewhere we meet in the middle, but I feel like it's more of like an every man for himself situation in my porn world. Yeah, you guys meet in the middle in his wife's pussy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, as you're in her butthole. <laughs> or she'll be home in 15 minutes and we can get started without her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You do your stretches. Yeah. All right. I'll be drawing a bath. You want to get started? She'll be home for more. If you met up with these guys in real life, that is fun to think about. Like, what you guys, what would you be like? Hey, 
there was a scene that I saw that you recommended, and it really did the trick. To that point, uh, the only guy that I've done that with is Ryan Shaner. Oh, we've God. we've shared links before, dude. That is cool. When I know that my buddy's into a certain body type, mm-hmm. I'll be. I have been like, I think you might enjoy this. Yeah, and that's the closest I've ever been to anyone. Mm-hmm. That is the nuclear launch code. It's like yeah, we you each get have it. a key now. You know, it, it makes me nervous to know that he could just spill that dossier at any time to my wife. Ooh. Yeah. Not that Ooh. he would do that because we are so close, but mm. there's a lot of like threads I'm in where there does get a little horny with the fellas where I know that it's like- I always mutually... ice the boys down. I go, all right, that's enough, guys. Yeah. Stop getting fucking horny, all right? Yeah. We're all grown ups. We're all men here. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah. turn on vanish mode. I've never known you to get too sexual. Yeah. So I don't think you're a horny guy. I'm not either. But when I do get horny, I get like rhino at the zoo horny. Right. <laughs> like I'm like baseline like two, but I, then when it does strike, it's like, yeah, get the dark gun point. out. Yeah. 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 Mine's like a medical emergency. Yeah. yeah. You're like ringing a bell. Yeah. My baseline <laughs> is extremely manageable. Uh huh. I mean, barely. I think I am kind of roiling under the surface, and I, I take it as a compliment that you said that you don't even see me that way. And I think that just shows how much control I have over the, the only over ti- the demon inside. The only time where I've even heard of you losing your sexual control was when you were driving cross country when you said you hit like fucking montana and you were just flooring it at the thought of eating pussy yeah dude i drove 21 and a half hours straight just every time i blinked there was eating pussy eating pussy you wanted dessert before dinner Mm -hmm. and i pedal to the metal dude didn't take a break did you have one like on a stick like in a cartoon right in front of you i was dangling in front of the (laughs) fucking (laughs) u-haul Yeah, dude. Weren't you also driving with your sister? Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> shut up. Too. I was just like, shut the fuck up. I need you to shut the fuck up and go to sleep for an entire day right now. Yeah. I don't want to talk to you. I was so crabby. <laughs> <laughs> I was such a grumpy dickhead the entire time. It's a tough, long drive. Mm-hmm. But you're horny. You're like outwardly horny, right? Yeah, I, I enjoy myself on the internet. That's cool. The, the, host, the co-host of my pod, my buddy Nathan, he once famously said... I've had my sex, and now he's just low T Lund and like doesn't care. Oh, I don't think he even spills at all. Oh. Like I save my seed for my wife, and then mm-hmm. we have a lovely mitzvah when we get together. Mm-hmm. Right, but I don't think that he's ever. Yeah, do you do any long term edging? No, 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 no. In fact, I'm always on the edge. I'm looking <laughs> over the precipice of my own cum shot at all times. Break. Yeah. yeah, I have to fight that because I, I can go. I can go soft. No. I've blasted soft before. Whoa. Just the thought of like a cool video and then you open it up and then you're like, oh, God. Yeah. Soft load. Not good. Wow. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to claim to have any kind of prowess. I'm just, I'm just saying like, I like making decisions about I don't know, how edged I am. Oh yeah. No, it's, I think it's all good. That's the, dude, the self-control is torture, Mike. Now that you bring it up. The self-control. I have is, none. I feel like a, I feel like I'm my own Hellraiser guy. Just mm-hmm. like absolutely sexually <laughs> torturing myself 24 hours a day. Your bird's your own cube. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. I have such sights to show me in the private browser tab. Speaking of which, uh, there was a sex scene in the original Hellraiser that used nice. to rile me up as a child. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I don't remember this. The lady Are you going to co- describe it? Uh, I just remember there was a lady covered. She Her skin was missing. So it just looked like she was just... She was just sinew and blood that's what did it for you yeah (laughs) keep mike out of the meat market (laughs) god damn full disclosure mike was molested oh cool i i also uh by a man with no skin (laughs) (laughs) i also had a clive barker book taken away from me in sixth grade and i've harbored resentment resentment against this nun ever since then yeah but you did ghostwrite that book that she was jealous (laughs) you got a publishing deal it was called uh clive barker's books of blood and I finished my work for the day and I took my book out of my desk and I was sitting there reading and we had like 10 minutes until recess and uh, Sister Marie Amard came over and she ripped the book out of her hands and she looked at the cover. She's like, I don't think Clyde Barker is appropriate reading for a sixth grader. Probably right. Yeah. What was your response? Shut up, you Shut old up. skirt. Fuck you. I didn't say anything. You dizzy bitch. You've been spinning around too much. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. If they tried to, I mean, if they tried to ban that book now, you yeah. lose your, I mean, that's your platform, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're banning. They're banning Cl- Clive Barker in sixth grade class. That's what it makes a man start fires. This is your crusade. I I wish I had the audacity to do this, but I didn't even think of it until a kid did it. But in eighth grade, a boy ripped a habit off of a nun. No. He ended up going to jail for murder. He went to hell, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, he went to jail first, then he went to hell. 
but he and a, he and another classmate beat a guy to death with bats. Oh. But I didn't know even taking off a nun's habit was an option. What a fun turn this story took. <laughs> yeah, from pantsing a nun to <laughs> murder with blunt objects. <laughs> I would have never imagined doing that. That would that sounds like the scariest idea ever. Beating the guy to death or no? No, I'm more nunny. scared of pulling pulling a, a nun's frock off yeah. or whatever they, whatever they call it. Her female alb. I'm afraid I was, dude. I was afraid of the nun just snapping and beating the fuck out of me. Yeah. You know what I thought they did? I thought they like. I thought they all lived in the um, convent. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they all lived in the convent and just tortured each other. I thought they went back and it was just war from the time school was over until the next morning when we started because they were all such freaks. You thought it was like jackass in the convent? <laughs> Almost. <laughs> like, I thought that they like, um, and I think I saw something like this on like Ripley's Believe It or Not or Faces of Death or something, but I thought they were like ascetics. I get those two confused all the time. <laughs> I, I thought they were like <laughs> whipping themselves in like religious ceremonies. Oh, self-flagellation. Yeah, by like a candlelight. Yeah. Yeah, with like a cat of nine tails. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, what I, was looking for. I think that is a big part of some sects of like the more antiquated Catholicism, where it is like flagellation is like a way to like a you know atone for your sins. But I don't know if that made it to modern day Catholicism. I know rectories well, are typically more chill, but I think convents are more. The, the chance of that happening is more likely at a convent. Than well, a also remember when it came out that the priests were like basically molesting every child. Mm -hmm. They were also getting after the nuns. Wait, wait, too. wait. What happened? <laughs> 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 they, dude, the nuns were getting it. God bless. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get so controversial. No, by, no. It's, I'm glad to know someone's getting it in. By getting yeah. it, do you mean uh, dick or beatings? Yeah, the priests were also, I think, abusing the nuns. Sexually? I think so, Those yeah. nuns loved it. Oh. You see yeah, what they're probably. wearing? <laughs> they had it coming. <laughs> I got to investigate a convent one time. I had to go like help like a nun carry like a ream of paper. I got I to, to like <laughs> yeah, I got to like look around inside. It was way darker than. I it bet it been. reeked in there, <laughs> dude. It was kind. It was old lady concentrate. Oh, it was God. like that stuffy old lady where you're not sure if it's a perfume or if just old ladies just like secrete this smell. They all smell like baby powder. Yeah, but it's like warped. It's not quite right. It's spoiled baby powder. Yeah, it does smell like, uh, like if you smell like a grandparent's chair, like the leather that's absorbed their butt <laughs> for 35 years. That's a bad mm -hmm. one. Yeah. I will never forget the smell of my Aunt Pat's corduroy couch. Yeah. <sighs> mm -hmm. Just death. My grandpa Ova's chair. Mm -hmm. It smelled and, like and his overalls. Any spots on the uh, couch? No, but she, it just smelled like big lady ass. <sighs> Probably comfy as fuck, though. It was. Oh, yeah, nice yeah. and dented. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with yeah, that. Yeah, it's a long night at the sleepover. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember one time my buddy, again, Bonzo, we were helping his dad move a couch, and we had to push it through a window because the door wasn't big enough. So we took, like, the window all the way up, and we were pushing it through. And this, like, just atrocious, big, fat, old woman walked by on the street, and we called his dad Donzo. Donzo <laughs> dropped his side of the couch and was like, Check it out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we both like, were like holding it like, what, 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 <laughs> what, what happened? He's like, like, that lady? And he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> Pick up your end of the couch. Was he getting horny for the yes. big lady? Oh, oh yeah. man. Yeah, he was like, that'll do. Boys. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, boys, don't look now, but ow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His hat spun around. <laughs> thump, 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 thump. <laughs> Tongue on furls. It was the same house. Me and Bonzo lived together, and his he came home, and his girlfriend was cheating with this other kid named Reed, who we knew since we were kids. Oh no! And I was in my room, and I saw Reed show up earlier that day, just because I thought he was chilling with someone else who lived there. But no, Reed was getting busy in the other room, and I heard Bonzo come in, and I heard him go to his room and open the door, and then I just heard him yell, "Brutal!" <laughs> 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 that was like the peak of <laughs> That was his emotions at their <laughs> That was his way of expressing Are the you words fucking that... my girl <laughs> bro. Harsh, bro. <laughs> Dude, not cool. Yeah, anus, bro. <laughs> Stop sucking his dick, babe. <laughs> For real. It's very uncool that you're being excellent to each other. Yeah. Quit munching the grindage, Reed. <laughs> Reed, chill. Seriously. Yeah. So that happened. And then like two days later, Reed was just back at the house being like, hey, guys, oh, what's going man. on?
<laughs> yeah, he got pussy. He wins, dude. Sorry. <laughs> and the ponzo was shattered. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> Is that what drove him the ice cream? <laughs> no, this was this was post ice cream. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh man. Did he ever pull out of this tailspin? Oh, he's great. Yeah, yeah Bonzo yeah. rules. He was a cinematographer on my comedy special. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah, I love Bonzo. <laughs> he goes by Anthony now. <laughs> he's not 13. Instead of yelling out action, he just yells out, brutal. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I forgot about that. <laughs> Did you ever ask him what he saw that elicited that kind of response? <laughs> no, it was just in my room and I heard brutal and then I heard like a kerfuffle. And then... I started laughing really hard because I realized that <laughs> why he screamed brutal was because he walked on on Reed banging his lady <laughs> and just like how little he could, <laughs> just like the lack of his emotional vocabulary to say anything else. <laughs> My initial thought is like it has to be the most fucked up sexual position you could imagine. Like just pile drivers in? Yeah, just something that doesn't food on her physically head. Physically mess in the air. On her head. <laughs> Tim's on. <laughs> He's appropriating culture. <laughs> Dude, boothead is where you do rag. Maybe he was yelling out boodle. <laughs> How about that, Tim? <laughs> Mike looked at me. <laughs> he was like, chill. I got this. <laughs> oh, oh, man. <clears throat> yeah, he probably is yelling boodle. <laughs> oh, I think so, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think a Timberland on the head would pull out a brutal. <laughs> it's the rudest thing you could do. Mm -hmm. That's black.com fatality. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Finish her. That's brutality, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I think Bonzo listens to Dad Me Too. So. Dave, shout out Bonzo. Shout man. out the Bonzo, man. Bonzo. Yeah. That rules. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. <sighs> yeah. I never, I never uh, walked in on anything like that. That would have been devastating. Uh, I have not either, but I did once. A girl uh, committed uh, an act similar to that, and I found out about it. And then I was like, "Well, this is over." And then I, we lived in a big punk house, and she gave me, she cut off her rat tail and braided it and gave it to me in an envelope, Aww. and was like, "If it's done, it's done." And I was like. This only underlines how bad this relationship is. That you're giving me your rat this tail. The separation ceremony for my people. Yes, dude. Yeah, it was. You may have my rat tail. That was a wild one. You still have it? No, I pawned it. <laughs> 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 I took it right to the flea market. <laughs> like, the old Navajo lady's going to make a rug out of this. How much for the cursed slut hair? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, not that. She was not a slut. There was, uh, a, lot, there was a lot of plate spinning at that time. So <laughs> I cannot chastise anyone I involved. I didn't mean to cast aspersions. No, no, it's sorry. fine. I don't mean to step on your great joke. That was funny. No. But it was crude. You know, I was. Uh, it was brutal. It was brutal. <laughs> Is there any kind of situation where you could foresee yourself giving your wife your mustache? Who, me? Couldn't be. Then who? Guess you. Um, yes. Yes. I I would love, honestly, to be sent on a um, a go for broke suicide mission and say, babe, I want you to always remember me and just peel this thing off. It was fake the whole time and just give it to her. Mm-hmm. And her to cry and finally realize just how valuable I am. And I say goodbye forever, probably. Oh. And I'd probably get greedy and find a way to like back out at the last minute and survive the mission and fail it. Would you expect her to wear it back home while you were away? Mm -hmm. I'd like, yeah, I'd like her to have it on. I'd like her to have her next partner wear it so that like <laughs> it's like a kiss transplant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, I'm always going to yeah. be kissing you, babe. You, you get to hear your dead brother's heart. <laughs> Please give this to the black guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let Chalmer wear this next time. <laughs> the black guy. <laughs> Give this to the black guy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. Yeah, I think she'd really appreciate that. I would love to see that movie. She's so sentimental. Oh, man, what if we did like a ghost scene where like I sit behind, like a Whoopi Goldberg type sits behind her and they like play PlayStation or something. But it's, actually me. it's actually me in the psychic old black lady's body. Oh, that'd be very sweet. Sam, how would you haunt your wife? Oh, I'm going to be haunting your wife. I'm going out. I'm going out way before she is. I think the memory of me and how much more time we could have had together will effectively haunt her. <laughs> <laughs> if I just would have listened, you know, <laughs> if I would have got on Lipitor when she asked me to. <laughs> 
my wife now when she gets drunk like we'll be she's like she's a doctor so we'll be at like parties with doctors and every now and then she'll be like and we all know sam's not gonna make it to the end <laughs> we mm-hmm. all we all know sam i'm gonna be i'll, I'll be all right I'll, and they all laugh yeah and they're know. like ha, 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 and i'm like yeah. there's fat doctors now though yeah, you know I, know. Mm-hmm. I tell them shut up it's like you guys aren't your, your hands aren't completely clean anymore oh yeah when you meet an old fat doctor mm-hmm. i've met an old fat doctor at a wedding once who was just blasting cigs and I went to bum one, and he was like, you sure? And I was like, you're a medical professional who's been honking Winston since you arrived. Like, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, right? you're a red-faced, semi-obese man. Yeah, yeah, like his like arm was all spotted, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, doctors really go for it. What kind of doctor is your wife? My wife is a family medicine doctor. Whoa, that's like the most real one. Emphasis on women's health. Oh. Mm-hmm. And people they with need it. They always got problems, dude. Yeah. Do you think old guys are wearing lab coats now the same way that every fat bitch is wearing scrubs? I think so. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. have you noticed, like, I don't know, who's 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 stretching, who's really going after it wearing a lab coat that shouldn't be? I'm, I'm just saying because, Dr. like... Dr. Robotnik, of course. N- yeah, nobody, <laughs> him, yeah, nobody would really question it because if you see if you see a lady in scrubs, you just accept that she probably does something in the medical field. Or whereas, is an esthetician. They're just stealing valor now. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. I yeah. think dog groomers wear scrubs now. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah. If I saw a big fat guy, like, in a hurry on the street wearing a lab coat, I'd be like, oh, no, emergency at the candy factory. <laughs> <laughs> I don't assume he's saving lives. I assume there's, like, a new flavor of, like, Dr. Pepper orange that he has to get to the lab to expect. Unless he has, like, the Dr. Mario thing, the oh. metal circle thing. Yeah, why did Dr. Mario have a fucking mining camp? He like, a, like, he's a virologist, dude. Oh, you're right. I'm wondering yeah. if, I don't know. <laughs> no, I think it's gotta be something. Have either of you seen the new Mario movie yet? Not yet. No, we're saving it for Fritz his birthday oh, oh sweet is this is the cinema event of his lifetime so yeah, far yeah. five years old and mm-hmm. he's been talking about seeing the super mario movie every day for six months and his birthday is on april 27th ah, oh cool my God. man and i just want to fucking take him i don't want to wait anymore i want to see it mm-hmm. but we have to go yeah yeah buddy on your birthday it's gonna be a great time bro you're gonna give him such a nice memory i have that same memory with teenage Mutant Ninja turtles 2 secret mm-hmm. of the ooze oh. i had to wait for my birthday for to see that movie was that yeah. the vanilla ice one yeah ice ice baby mm-hmm. go yeah. ninja go ninja go yeah, yeah. mm-hmm and Kevin Nash played Super Shredder. Yes, he did, which I didn't know about until much later. I just watched a YouTube yeah, interview with him. Yeah, it was him. exciting. And, um, yeah, I actually, Jurassic Park, my my cool uncle took me to see Jurassic Park. That was my very cool person, personality-forming memory as a kid. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, when I get this little motherfucker to go see Mario, god damn, dude, this better be like a, a catharsis that unlocks, like, new pathways in his brain. Are you going to dress as Luigi? Ooh, dude, that would be super nice of me. You got to. That will be super fucking nice. I'm Yoshi though, so he play he does this thing. <laughs> his name's Mario, and he's given a Mario character to every person in his life. Did he choose Mario? He self identified as Mario. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got poor impulse control. He's five. Yeah. Obviously, you'd be like, I would give someone else. I'll be shy guy or something. No, he's Mario. I'm Yoshi. I think mo- his mom is like fucking Goomba or something. Mm-hmm. Like everyone's got, so I'd have to be, I'd have to dress like Yoshi, which would be so embarrassing. His yeah. first words were, woohoo! <laughs> that's when, when he was conceived. That's what <laughs> <he said. laughs> Yeah. Well, tell him you hung out with Bowser tonight. Mm. Right. <laughs> it's a me, Embryo. <laughs> Dude, I went to see uh, Ghostbusters 2 with my grandfather uh, on my mom's what side. Tr- Dude. Awesome. Definitive, seminal film for me. And I remember walking out with my grandpa, who was a very serious man from northern Mississippi, who was wearing like a bow tie and mm-hmm. like, a, like a trilby hat. And I was like, Grandpa, oh my God, did you like it? And he went, it's for children, Samuel. <laughs> 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 he lit up a camel filter list. It's for children, Sam. <laughs> he didn't give a shit. <laughs> I love Ghostbusters. I myself, too. I found that to be contrived. It was and a bit pedantic, juvenile. boy. <laughs> <laughs> but I can see how someone so simple as yourself might get some enjoyment from it. The semiotics were trite and over explained. <laughs> A whole river of ooze. <laughs> a bit much. <laughs> and that black fella had a much bigger role than I'm comfortable with. <laughs> Winston Zedmore. <laughs> That's the slave name. <laughs> yeah, that was that was the big one, too. Mm-hmm. I had, I had a very nice one. experience seeing that one, too, because my mother, we didn't have a lot of money, so my mother would take us to a theater called the Gaben Theater because it was a dollar theater. Mm-hmm. And we would get 
second run movies. Yeah. And one of the nicest experiences I had at the Eden Theater was seeing Ghostbusters 2, and it was a packed theater. And I just remember the part where they played Bobby Brown's song on our own. The entire theater was dancing. Oh, yeah. I get, I'm getting chills just talking about oh, it. Oh, it's a beautiful memory, yeah. yeah. I saw Django Unchained on Christmas Day in a theater in Detroit, and we were the only white people there. Mm-hmm. That was my wife's father's uh, Christmas tradition, was you go see a movie. And my, she dressed as Leonardo DiCaprio. I did blackface. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to fit in. Yeah. And God, they were losing it. And I just remember sitting there, like, very nervous that it was going to turn. <laughs> like, it was, it was. They're going to take to the streets. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the revolution. This action gets any hotter. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, mm. I was like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> it was exciting. The food court closed early. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the pandemic. They shut down like an old crushed. West town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember Tumbleweed being in this theater. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> why do black people love hibachi restaurants so much? <laughs> <laughs> the only time, whenever I've been to a hibachi, it's all black families <laughs> and me. <laughs> it's like they love a show. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> they love athleticism and everything. <laughs> yeah, dude, nothing beats an athletic shrimp. If, yeah. Honestly, if, if any restaurant on the planet adds catching shrimp in your mouth, it's the new best black restaurant <laughs> on the planet. From downtown. <laughs> He's on fire. The grill's on fire. <laughs> I was talking... <laughs> to my dad about that yesterday. This is just, it's, oh man, they love it in there. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've said too much. But it's, and also Cash App. <laughs> like when I sell merch after shows, no white person has ever used Cash App with me, man. <laughs> yeah, it's the hibachi of finance. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Someone told me it's because Cash App claims that they dig wells in Africa. That's what I was told. So, like, black people have gone to Cash App. Oh, man. To, like, support. You ever try to patronize a black-owned business? <laughs> Those are some of the worst operating hours ever. <laughs> Do you remember what you said? There's we would- a really good black pizza shop around here that I've been dying to try, but they're only open on, like, Wednesdays from 11 to 4. <laughs> the, the first time we tried to go to Joey Rose's in the Lower East Side, we, ch- we were, like, walking there. And we checked the hours, and it wasn't open for, like, another four hours. I was like, are we going to go? Tim's like, yeah, if they, we would go if they didn't have the hours of a black bakery. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Yeah, yeah, that's enough. (laughs) 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 Sam, we didn't tell you ahead of time, but this this podcast studio is built on a haunted black hair salon. Yeah. For real. It's redundant. This, <laughs> it's the same thing. How is it haunted? Yeah, where you're sitting was, I mean, a chair was there for a, a black hair salon. Oh, dude. I had when to get... came in and he was just sweeping out hairs. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, our first day in here, we came across a slimer with a weave. <laughs> A slimer. <laughs> slimer wearing scrubs. <laughs> Instead of eating from the cart, we had to throw a shrimp in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a strange way to eulogize your fallen friend, John Belushi. <laughs> it's like we made you an amorphous... <laughs> Gluttonous blob. <laughs> there you are, John. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you're basically for comedic effect after fucking Ray gets his dick sucked by a ghost. I know, dude. Uh, <laughs> remember remember oh, when man. Slimer does appear in the hallway and Ray has the cigarette dangling off of his lip? Yeah. I, that's like, I remember being a kid and being like, how did they do that? <laughs> what the special effects in this movie are crazy. <laughs> Man, that was uh, that was my my <sighs> older son's first impression. Was uh, I, I hate to go back to making fun of black people. But <laughs> <laughs> We're just asking questions. But the, 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 the hotel maid, the black lady, where after they're like blasting the tray or whatever, and she goes, "What in the hell are you doing?" <laughs> that was my son's first ever impression when he was like six no. years old. Dude. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, that was <sighs> the best, man. That was the best. Wow. Jesus Christ. 
God damn it. I'll tell you what, that movie. <laughs> there was a uh, a friend of ours, Tommy Pope. Yeah, he, Tommy. Uh, he sent out a video of him eating pussy. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? With, uh, with the camera facing him. <laughs> as opposed to the, ang- the, the action being on it the was, pussy. It was POV. I'm eating your pussy. <laughs> 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 Shit! If Tommy had an OnlyFans where he was eating his girlfriend's pussy, I would, yeah, I would, I would subscribe. She's a real. <laughs> oh God, dude! So that's the funniest part about this whole thing is like, I feel like I'm the like the Western representative of like the Philadelphia podcast empire. So like, getting to meet all y'all and like. Hanging out with the different iterations of the two white guys having a podcast. Because <laughs> you guys are nothing but joy and enthusiasm. And then you go up and you do, like, you know, you do fucking Chris and Tommy's pod. And it's just Tommy being like, butterflies, they're everywhere. <laughs> What's going on? When I was a kid, you saw one a year. Now, they're everywhere. And Chris is like, they're dying, Tommy. <laughs> Everything's decay. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, every now and again, you need a Tommy Pope pussy eating video to clean the pipes. I never got mm. it. I want to get oh, it. <laughs> but Tim, but Tim uh, likened that to Slimer feeding himself <laughs> from the uh, from the cart in the middle of the hallway. It changed the way I eat pussy. It was mm. it was seriously it had a huge impact. Oh my god, what was he doing? New cool stuff. He was like, it's like dislocating his own jaw. Yeah, there was a little <laughs> bit of John Popper in there, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> It's going good. You like it, right? You want me to do what? Yeah, Tommy checking in. It's going good down here. What's your deal? Huh? Are you going to squirt in my face or something? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Where am I, the car wash guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, once upon a midnight scene, and I'm like, what's up, man? I'm like... I feel like I got hit in the head with a boat oar. Oh. <laughs> just post oh, show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm loving it. No, this but... is the most retarded podcast of all time. Uh, I thought you were going to say we're making you hungry for pussy. <laughs> oh, I'm always hungry for pussy. Uh. That's the only thing I'm good at <laughs> when it comes to sex. Like, I don't even finger well. I'll get a thumb involved. <laughs> like, but what do you get me down there? I have the focus and determination. <sighs> Oh, oh my god, dude. Now I like to prime the pump. I like to go down there and do it in, to completion mm-hmm. so that no matter what happens after that, yeah. mission's accomplished. That's yeah. what I'm all about. Yeah. But the, do you ever... <laughs> I'm just about to start asking you very intimate questions. Is this more black guys? You, <laughs> you and your wife's lovemaking. Now, yeah. when you, now, does she get kind of demanding and say, like, no, I don't want to reach climax without you? So sometimes... She's, sometimes she'll be like, no, no, no. We like, gave I, you t- truth serum. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those fucking Drake's cakes got me. Uh, fucking, she'll be like, no, let's, uh, I, do, I don't want to finish yet. So now let's engage in, in uh, penetrative sex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's 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 the only real like. And you got to be like, no, babe. I'm like, I'm on fire now. You, yeah. You hold right. her, you say, sorry, I know you want this, but it's not time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, wow. I just give her uh, my camera and I'm I'm like, this is my friend Tommy. <laughs> pussy. You look at that I'm face. face t- I'm FaceTiming Tommy right now. Yeah. <laughs> Good work, kid. I'm pussy timing Tommy right now. Yeah. Could you hold this for me? <laughs> yeah, so no, that's like that's a big part of it. Is I, I I like to do a good job in many ways as possible. Yeah, man. I put my bib on one clip at a time like everybody else. Oh, yeah. I, I couldn't imagine how generous of a lover you are considering how kind and accommodating you are as a person. I, I do. I just want I want everyone to have a nice time, you know, <laughs> <laughs> including my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh my god it's uh, after midnight oh no we gonna let it is all hang good? out is everybody good after time. Midnight. Danny where are we at on time you're at 50 yeah oh I feel, wow I, I, feel, I, I feel like I've kept you guys up all night this feels like a true blue sleepover right now dude it's the best that's what it is that's exactly what it feels like like someone's dad's gonna come down and be like just turn down the rom sign mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> That Sega better not be on if I come in there right now. You guys are playing Vector, man. I'm taking my belt off. (laughs) Our dear friend Jake Matera and I got to see Ramstein this summer, and they set multiple baby carriages on fire. Sick. (laughs) Sick. Now, now I'm I'm interested in this because there's a debate going on right now in hardcore. Are we losing fat guys? Is fat guy moshing going away? I saw that same thing on r slash hardcore today. 
And what are you thinking? I think that the fat guys are now hugging the wall. I think because so too. Because I'm huge, and I used to get in the pit at a lot of all the warehouse shows I would go to where like Spaz or Locust S bands were playing, and little guys try and take out your knees. Oh, no. And when you're younger, you can squat and deal with it, you know? You can kind of sprawl on them. Base on them, yeah. Yeah, but I do not want to be on, constantly head on a swivel for some little fucking 19-year-old fuck trying to chop block me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, so I hug the wall now, and I'll, I'll get a shove in. For sure. You know? And then when the breakdown hits, I'll go through. You do the, you do the forearm and lean out too far yes. when they get to the edge of the pit. Yeah, yes, I get it. dude. 100%. Mm -hmm. Yes, which throws you off balance. And then when they see and that you look coming, like a fucking spaz. And then the kids grab and they yank you in and you fall down. Because mm. you're so you're And so then everyone's forward. like, ha, the fat guy fell down. He's yeah, probably yeah. pushing too hard anyway. Well, like, I hope they say, uh, scene legend Sam Talent fell down. <laughs> yeah. Not the fat guy. Crowd killer Sam Talent. I never crowd kill. I hated those guys. But they assume you do. They yeah. see a big guy near the pit and they go, that guy's angry guy moshing. Oh, yeah. Pounding on the little kids. No, dude, I'm hands like this. Uh, fucking uh, earplugs in, just uh -huh. chin up, head minute. banging. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. just very stern face. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I've never been to a hardcore show. Why is the moshing different than like a metal show, dude? I don't know when that made that turn, but I hate it. I think it was. I mean, it was always very specific. And then I know at least by the early two thousands, there were dudes just practicing moshing in their rooms. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> there were dudes practicing their moves and like their spin kicks and shit. And then they'd show you in the hallway at high school. And you'd be like, damn, dude, that's kind of intimidating. Maybe that's what Bonzo walked in on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just read floor punching his girlfriend. Brutal. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, guys, Reed just broke my girlfriend's nose. <laughs> Brutal. So Bonzo wouldn't be happy about this story, but if Reed heard it, he'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I did do that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Bonzo and my girlfriend, or, or no, Reed and my girlfriend, are listening to the fucking bro him and spin kicking each other. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, man? Bro him. Do you guys know about this? Yeah, just all night I hear oh, oh, oh. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine fucking the bro him. Like, like, baby, hold on, let me set the mood. <laughs> just Fletcher. They're, they're either fucking or they love Pennywise. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> dude, the next help time I have sex, dude, help her up. What <laughs> yeah, the fuck, exactly. man? <laughs> stop fucking her and help her up, bro. <laughs> Both Both like, stop the music. Stop the music. <laughs> <laughs> hey, can we make yeah, this? Yeah, this is not fun for anyone unless it's fun for everybody. Please stop fucking my girlfriend and help her up off the bed right now. <laughs> This one's for all the real motherfuckers <laughs> penetrating my girl right now. <laughs> Can we all make a vow that the four of us, the next time we fuck our wives, we're going to see how far into bro him we can get before they notice? <laughs> it's going to be the second song on the playlist. Yeah. I'm going to make this happen. <laughs> Uh, a little bit of Unknown Mortal Orchestra, and then Pennywise. What the heck? Well, I mean, I'm not getting up. I'm already nude. <laughs> if I get up, I'm going to get soft. I don't want to get up. You can get up and change it. That does happen sometimes. You're like, let's switch positions. And then you're like, oh, no, what have I done? Oh, I've stolen blood from my erect penis. Yeah. No, damn these legs. <laughs> Give it back. Ooh, I'm going to throw up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, just the guy who's like, <laughs> baby, <laughs> you, you start yourself off. <laughs> he puts the record on. <laughs> He's got the seven inch. <sighs> uh huh. But anyway, I was going to say, these shows are smellier than ever. And I was wondering what the Ramstein show smelled like. Well, it was at Lincoln Financial Field, so was, there was a lot of room to no, spread out. Probably smelled like weed. Yeah, that, that was essentially it. And uh, yeah. Jake and I were in seats, and we had a couple rows to ourselves. One guy, I wasn't sure whether I hated this or loved it, but a guy in a row in front of us was leaning forward and he had his dick out and he was pissing onto the seat in front of him. Done that. Legend. Did that last year at the Lumineers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, they did ask everyone to take their wieners out and piss for <laughs> yeah. this one song. Uh, yeah, and they're like, hey, we got little hats for Part you. Part of the show, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the band's wearing, like, the tarp, like yeah. Gallagher audience. Yes. <laughs> Ian Finance won't come out unless every guy's got his dick out. <laughs> yeah, the Lumineers are from Denver, oh, yeah. and they fucking, they're the fans of comedy from way back, and they got me, like, tickets, me and my wife, my buddy Lund. And we went with our wives, and we were in Coors Field, and I drank a bunch of tall boys, and Lund's sober, his wife's sober, and I remember Lund looked over, and I had shorts exactly like this, and I was just peeing out the bottom uh, of them, and yeah. he's like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, enjoying the show, buddy, what are you doing, you know? And was, then, like, the next day, I was like, 
Megan, his wife, I was like, I'm so sorry I pissed on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I pissed on the field. Was she cool about it? Yeah, she was. No, like, yeah, she's like, yeah. She wasn't a bitch wife. No. Thank God. No. They could be pretty ornery about that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I understand. I was literally pissing. She was wearing like Crocs and I was pissing right by her feet. <laughs> Went to the turnstile show with Ian in Brooklyn and that was a pretty smelly one. Yeah. That was pretty. Danny, am I right? That was a stinky one. Yeah, which was weird because everyone was good looking. I yeah, never it was saw kind that. Of like, it was kind of it was a little bit posh for a crowd for mm. you know, uh, but you know they'd already like taken off and were selling everything out. But yeah, pretty stinky pit. What yeah. band do you think has the most mutants? Uh, I can I can tell you right now it's Ween. Hmm. With all my actually, you know what? I need to see a Primus crowd right now. But I think Disco Biscuits would be up there. You think? Yeah. I don't know, man. I would I would go head to head Ween versus Disco Biscuits for for mutant crowds any day of the week. Ween was Ween. I've been to two Ween shows in a in a in a row in Philly. These are the most fucked up people I've ever seen. I saw one guy who was dressed like a union carpenter, but he was gay and he kept bouncing his cheeks off the floor. Whoa! He was dancing by himself, just getting fucked up, and he kept slamming his cheeks down in carpenter jeans. He actually hosts a show called This Old Brick House. <laughs> how do you how do you slam your cheeks? You mean like, like deep a, like squat a lady. situation? Yeah, like he would he would drop it low. Wow! Fuck. The world's so big and I'm so small. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was a bunch of like, uh, you know, those like long goatee guys that like with the stringy, like mm -hmm. not quite like mud veiny, but like right, tons of those like dudes. steampunk without the accessories. Yeah, like basement apartment guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ton of those. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe disco. I, disco big. Are those all burnouts? Yeah, they all reek. Mm. Yeah, I, they're my least favorite. I, I'm sorry. I do not enjoy the disco business music. Everybody. I bet people who go to like an I Hate God show, th those reek. Yeah. Any, any Doom show always smells terrible. Yeah, or like Sleep, I bet. Oh, Sleep Ghost, dude? I mean, I bet I bet they smell good. Yeah. Nah, go Ghost, I think there's probably a, uh, a sheen on those people. There's a lot like of like Sleep Dudes or like Dope Smoker. Like, um, dope Smoker? Dope Smoker. Electric Wizard guys. Yeah. They, they stink. Fucking Earth. Yeah. Those dudes gotta be pretty stinky. I almost Damn, I, I wanna go smell some bros now. I wanna go to a, <laughs> I wanna go to a Sun O show. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool as heck. Or like a uh, I went to a Sun O show one time in a brick room and literally at the end there was a bunch of bricks that had been vibrated out of the mortar because they were ooh. so loud, dude. Ooh. Yeah. I miss going to shows, but I'm so old now and I just look like a pedophile. <laughs> yeah, I know. Especially, I take my daughter with me. Yeah. And God forbid, she, God forbid she has like a friend with her. And now I'm just like a, a very old man bringing teen girls yeah. to stuff. Do you tear it up when you go? No, I, you know what I do is I arms crossed in the back of the room and I go, you guys have fun. And I let them go up front. Yeah, that's a good move. That's the only thing you can do, man. I can't be like. It's like me at the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be over here. You guys I'll have enjoy the fun. shrimp. Yeah. I'll have my You guys fun. catch it. <laughs> hmm. Well, this has been, this has been. Everything I hoped for. Sam, there's yeah. nobody like you. Oh, guys, this is the one. Everyone's always like, you got to go on dad meet, and I'm so glad it worked out. Yeah, I've really been looking forward to this. Yeah. Sorry it was so late, everyone. Yeah, We're so a bit slap happy and silly, but I'm sure it'll happen again. Yeah, sorry we had to keep you up all hours. No, no, this was my idea. I'm really grateful you accommodated me because I didn't get in until five and I had no time. You had to go to your lovely daughter's uh, art show, mm -hmm. you know, so you could, what were you, what did you say? Troll for puss? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you were on whole patrol, I think? I can't remember what the text said. <laughs> I was helping her get good grades. Show up. Yeah. Or <laughs> bring your teachers. I'm on a scoos cruise, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Everybody, thanks for joining us. Please, uh, I mean, consume Chubby Behemoth. Yeah, listen to Chubby Behemoth. We are very similar to this. It's a good, it's a good dynamic. And uh, my God, you're special on um, Amazon. I love so much. Thanks, man. Uh, Shout out Bonzo. That's all Bonzo. Oh man, what a fun time that was! Mm -hmm. And like the the different the the different cities, and the the fucking loose or not lack of structure, but the very loose structure to the whole thing. It was supposed to be a skate video. That's how we yes. looked at it. You nailed it. Thanks, it's Sam. So fucking cool. I'm proud of it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I love it. Please see Sam alive. Like tonight, we got to watch him, and I, I've never seen somebody maximize their words. Just, just there, there was no relenting. Thanks, man. And it's just non fucking stop. And 
you said things that I will think about until the day I die. Oh, that's really sweet, man. I, I was so grateful for that show. Thank you, Philly, for selling it out and for the boys being on it. My rosebud is going to be me whispering to my wife, we're going to fuck until it stinks. <laughs> 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 Which you should try that. That's a good line. <laughs> yeah. You put on Broham, you whisper that. <laughs> you fucking uh, flip uh, that shrimp uh, in her uh, face. Uh, brutal. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, twitch.tv slash Tim Butterly. We're heating up. Things are going great. It's better than ever. I can't wait to see you there. Thanks for and that, everybody. Please buy my book, On Perks. Thank you to those of you that have bought it already. And uh, you can buy the print copy at onperks.com. And my dear friend Tim Butterly was kind enough to set up the audio version on the site. So if you go to audio.onperks.com, you can get the audio book by himself. All the boys came through and really made it something that I could have never conceived of becoming this good. So thank you for that. Thanks, gang. See you later. <laughs>